This paper reports on a pilot study aimed at facilitating labeling of music performance videos with automatic methods to support human experts carrying out the analysis. We investigate if state-of-the-art deep learning techniques can thereby contribute to the scientific study of music performance. This is a challenging undertaking, since videos capturing music performance are particularly difficult to analyze, as the individual gestures performed by the artist may be very subtle and difficult to label, even by human experts. Gesture research has become an important constituent in understanding musical performance, bringing together approaches from systematic musicology, music psychology and music computing. In an article from 2013, Jennifer McRitchie and colleagues published results suggesting that performers use bodily motions as a way of corporeally manifesting their interpretative choices. The team analyzed motion capture data of the upper body gesture of nine advanced student and amateur level pianists performing two Chopin preludes. Their conclusions support the arguably self-evident proposal from Bruno Rapp's 1999 quantitative study that performers may express the same musical structure in different ways, going on to state that repeated meaningful patterns in performers' movement are therefore not incidental movements, but, as gestures are movement which carry meaning, are perhaps performance gesture relating to composition structure. These performance gestures, while idiosyncratic, are used by all performers to relay the hierarchical phrasing structure across performances. The method and design of this pilot study were built on data from a previous project carried out by researchers at IPEM and the Orpheus Institute in Ghent, Belgium. That study sought to combine qualitative and quantitative methods into a multimodal analysis of music performance. A central component was qualitative coding of perceived expressive gesture. The data was drawn from two rehearsals and two performances of a composition for 10-string guitar by the British composer David Gorton. The piece is titled Austerity Measures 1 and was premiered by Stefan Osterhoer at the Orpheus Institute Research Festival in 2014. The qualitative analysis was carried out through a method consisting of several steps, building on a basic procedure of stimulated recall. The goal was to detect expressive movement in the performance that were not immediately related to technical or sound-producing gestures. Stefan Osterhoer, the performer of the piece and co-author of the research, will tell you more about this procedure. Expressive gestures were identified and named with a code, with the start and duration of the gestures annotated using the software HyperResearch. This resulted in a rich list of codes involving the different viewpoints of composer, performer and two observers. Through a process of negotiation, these codes were conflated and were relevant, renamed, when a consensus on their expressive meaning was reached, or deleted when no consensus was reached. Each time an expressive event occurred that matched a code in the list, this code was added to the video. This resulted in two parallel annotations, which were discussed in a final common session. Here, all coded events for which in the end no consensus was reached were deleted from the annotations. The final result of the video analysis was one annotated file per recording, which were applied to all expressive events in the video where the four participants found agreement and it is this negotiated perception aspect of the analysis that defined the final code list which can be seen in this slide. Most of the codes refer to bodily movements that have no direct result on technical delivery and don't explicitly produce sound, such as nodding, facial expression and expressive shoulder movement. But what all the codes have in common is that, through a process of negotiation, it was agreed that they represent specific bodily strategies for the management and communication of the musical structures. 
You will see from this very short video extract some obvious examples of gesture that we coded as expressive, such as nodding, expressive shoulder movement, expressive head movement, facial expression and frowning. Additionally, several layers of qualitative and quantitative analysis of audio data contributed to the previous project. However, for this pilot study, the code list describing the expressive gestures identified in the previous study and the four videos were used, leaving the audio analysis for a later stage. Hence, the rationale for this study was that the qualitative analysis provided a highly detailed account from the performer and the composer of the piece as well as from two musicologists all making observations and negotiating their understanding of the gesture in these performances. Hereby, an automatic analysis of gesture in the video could be cross-compared to expert human observation of the same data. Let's see the architecture used in this work. On the top of this slide you can see the original 3D CNN network architecture proposed by Hara et al. On the bottom you can see the adapted version used in this paper. We kept the first three blocks and retrained the fourth one with a few ReLU layers in the final block and two outputs reporting the presence or not presence of a class. The reported results on the test set shows that there is a correlation between number of samples and high precision and recall. For example, the class freeze has 80% precision, 72% recall, 76% F1 score, and 96% accuracy. It also shows that for some classes, the results are very bad due to low number of samples in training. Uh, note that the accuracy is still high because most samples are negative and thereby, thereby correctly classified. For example, the class Expressive Head Movement with 8 samples reports an accuracy of 92% while the F1 score is 0. In conclusion, this paper proposes a method to facilitate labeling of music performance videos with automatic methods like 3D convolution neural networks in this case, instead of tedious labeling by human experts. The model was evaluated on a set of 18 music performance gestures and reports an average accuracy of 85.7% and F1 score of 38.6% on the test set. Our model has a very poor performance with samples never seen before and this overfitting is caused mostly by two factors. A very complex model. Our model has more than uh, 63 million parameters and the number of training samples is too low. Also the subjectivity of the labels. The labels in the model represent features such as expressive head movements that are very subjective. The current dataset is small and therefore problematic, but the training accuracy points to this technique being promising for further study. So, in future work, we will consider using a simpler model, maybe an SVM, try regularization techniques to achieve better generalization results and maybe data augmentation. Our integration of audio was not the most recent state of the art, that is why we exclude it from our current work, but we intend to apply a multimodal approach using state of the art approaches in our future work, so as to include the audio signal as well. Thank you very much for your attention.